Nowadays, almost everyone uses the internet to make one or two purchases. And this keeps increasing the opportunity of making money as an e-com store online. And if you've been wondering on how you could actually get started to run a successful e-commerce business online, then this video is for you. Welcome back to my channel. This is Francis Eze and I'm all about teaching you how to make money online and giving you ideas and information concerning anything that's around making money online. And if this is your first time of coming to this channel, you are so much welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, you are also very much welcome. And I will indulge you to like this video. And if you are genuinely interested in making money online and having a sustainable living off the internet, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel and smash that bell notification icon so that whenever I drop hot content like this on how to make money online, you will be among the first to be notified. Okay, so in today's video, we are looking at seven things you need to start a successful e-commerce business because it's not just all about going out there to start an e-commerce business if you don't do it right you could be dead on arrival okay so if you're among the numerous persons that are wondering or looking for a way to actually come into this niche and you know maximize the opportunity or have your own piece of of the huge pie then this video is for you because in this video i'm showing you the things that you need important things very important to give you head start on how to actually develop your e-commerce business and get right into it and start making as huge money as possible i've been in the e-commerce industry for over four years and i've been making all my all my living e-commerce contributed to the major part of it okay so without taking much of your time let's get right into it step one is pick the right product if you make mistake on picking the wrong product then you are dead on arrival and you will diminish your chances of succeeding because as an e-com as an e-commerce person that is coming into the e-commerce business you don't always have enough capital to start on a huge scale you have to start small and if you make the mistake of picking the wrong product you could actually end up buying the wrong product which ends up not selling and you have to take another weeks or months to raise money maybe from friends or from family to look for another product to come up with so how do you get the right product so you don't make this mistake of picking the wrong one first and foremost determine a pressing need in your niche market and look for a product that solves it okay so check out the demand for a particular product once the demand is high and the supply is low, it's a very good opportunity for you to go in. And if you come into a particular niche, of course, you're not going to, as a beginner, start selling something from two or three or four different niches. No, look for one niche. In fact, as a, as a rule of the thumb, look for a sub-niche under that niche and focus there as a beginner. Then over time, once you start making as huge money as possible, then you could actually get that's fine. Okay, so pick the right product look for a pressing need and get a product that solves that that's one on how you can actually pick the right product secondly focus on a certain sub niche then select products that are related to a particular need there's no need for you selling dog food and also selling wine glasses it doesn't it doesn't correlate it doesn't make sense you are spreading yourself thin okay so if you are focusing on dog niche, you could decide to sell dog food, dog leashes, dog toys, and all related in the same niche so that a customer can actually buy several products from you. Okay, and also check out the product costs versus your capital. If you are starting out with a low capital, no need of you going to buy a product that costs that the cost price is high. Because the more stock you have, the more opportunity for you to sell more to people and make more money. So you don't have to, let's say you're starting out with $500. No need of you going to sell a product that the cost price is around $250. So with your capital, you can only afford two of that product. What if someone wants to buy three or four? But with $500, you look out for a product that you could actually buy for $10 cost price and sell at $25. That way you could 
get as much as 20 30 pieces of that product and sell as much as you want that's still on picking the right product okay then why picking the product look for a product that is easy to source you don't want to start selling a particular product and actually your ma the market the business had picked up customers are making demand only for you not to be able to give them more of what they want they're going to hate you for that because you've actually you know incited them to buy from you only for them to ask for few extra products and you're like you're out of stock they will leave you to the next person that has those stock available so look for product that you can actually source easily and it's always available all year round okay the next step on how you could actually become a successful e-commerce person or run a successful e-commerce business is choose an e-commerce platform after you've picked up the right product look for an e-commerce platform where you could sell this product there are many of them out there amazon you know gg for nigerians conga jumia shopify there are many of them out there and different e-commerce platform have different effectiveness efficiency fees and so many policies so check out or look out for the one that suits you the most and then get on this platform sign up and start you know sampling your products on this platform then step three is create a user-friendly website or product pages now not everybody might be interested in listing their products on an e-commerce platform personally i don't use e-commerce platform the ones i use they are not my major source of income because of the competition i always don't like the competition and um aside that one of the one of the things one of the things i enjoy about using my own personal website is i have a full control because i've actually had bitter experiences using e-commerce platform whereby maybe something may go wrong you need that your checkout page is not loading or your page is not loaded or you are even restricted from accessing your page all of a sudden so you have to go back through the whole process of paying trying to set up a new one and all that so i said to choose or to use my own personal website and why did i do that because i have ways which i can actually pull in traffic whichever way i want at my own terms and i'm going to review the way you can actually pull in as much traffic as possible to your, be it your e-commerce website or be it on your product page on an e-commerce platform I'm going to reveal those secrets later on in this video okay so like i mentioned earlier not everybody is going to be on e-commerce platform but if you're on e-commerce platform then go ahead to create good user-friendly pages easy responsive pages that customers or your clients can come on to and easily assess the page go through the product and purchase whatever they want to purchase from you then if you're having your own personal website which you installed an e-commerce plugin then also make sure that you create the website and build the home page the product pages and all that very very well let it be responsive effective and let it be user-friendly so that someone coming to your website can actually have a very smooth experience going through the whole purchase process okay and if you decide to take this route of having your own personal website then remember you have to get a domain name and also get you know a hosting plan a domain name is just like your store name then the hosting plan is just like a mall or a plaza where that your shop or or that your domain name is hosted on whereby all the images the information that that you use on your website is being hosted on. so you need a domain name and a hosting plan okay very important the next step on running a successful or starting a successful e-commerce business is define your overall brand and the look of your business when we hear of brand i'm talking for small businesses now when you hear of brand i don't mean you should go out there and start spending a whole lot of money creating logos creating banners it's not necessary for you now as a small scale business as a beginner the sole thing you should focus on is on making as much sales as possible because when you don't make sales there is no cash in flow and when there is no cash in flow your business cannot breathe and if your business cannot breathe properly then it's dead on arrival so when i talk of branding branding is just, it's just the personality of your business 
it's not you creating so yeah it's good and fun. it's good to create good logos but they are not as important as making sales okay so the best thing is for you to focus on which pattern which personality are you going to give your business so that people will love to easily associate with that business and buy easily from you it could be the way you do your customer relationship anybody that, bu that buys from you you always follow up not once not twice even up to seven times just to ask them so far after getting our products what is your experience have you been enjoying it? that particular mode of business of you always checking up on your customers 14 to 30 days after they've made purchase could be the personality of your of your business and that's your brand very important so whatever branding you are doing to your business make sure it's giving you or it's promoting your sales it's giving you as much sales as possible especially if you are a starter or a small business this is not yet the time for you to start spending on banners running banner adverts and, uh, and all that no when you become bigger when you make more sales and you can afford all those excesses then you can focus on that okay so step number five is create specific product pages of course you're not going to create or you're not going to build a product from scratch at least for a start what you should do is you buy product maybe from china or from any other manufacturer and resell oftentimes this business or these manufacturers have what you call product description but remember everybody buying from them all the wholesalers buying from them use this same product description and product data and that way the seo ranking of their pages become very low and they don't get to stand out and besides customers need very detailed and extra information about any product that they want to buy before they go on to check out on your page so whatever product you are selling make sure that you create separate specific pages for each of your products where you go on to do extra research to write more on the product description and most importantly on the benefits people don't buy products because they want to patronize you they buy products from you because they want to solve their problem so you need to focus on not just the features of that product but the benefit they are going to get if they purchase from you and these are the things you have to list on those specific product pages so you could actually stand out rank better on the search engine and also get much organic traffic to your site and make as much sales as possible very important so the next step is step number six i mentioned earlier in this video that i'm going to show you how i get as many traffic as possible to my e-commerce store and make as many sales as possible and that is creating step number six is creating social media accounts so you can get as much traffic as possible almost everybody spend some ample time on social media and where should you focus on facebook tiktok youtube shorts instagram okay start pushing out content make sure that whatever content you are putting out there is educative most importantly depending on your product if you can find if you can find a balance between giving an informative content and giving an entertaining content then listing everything with your product that would be powerful because there are so many entertaining content out there if you actually pick one and look for a way it relates to your product now you are getting people's attention to your product by serving them entertaining content and that way you could easily go viral and whenever and once you go viral remember your link to your e-commerce store is on this social media platform people can easily from that social media content link up to your e-commerce store and get to purchase as many products as possible then over time when you start having the excess money to actually run adverts then you could actually run ads on this platform and this is the secret which i've been using for the past four to five years to make as huge sales as possible online on my e-commerce websites okay it cannot get better than this so once you've actually picked the right product do everything that you need and get to this point of looking for customers and you don't have enough money to start running adverts do your do yourself the good to create social media accounts 
I start putting out content. Make sure that this content don't always come out, come on this social media platform to sell. Drop entertaining content, drop informative content, drop edu educative videos or written articles, and see a way to merge it up with your products and see people naturally tilt to towards that content. And at the end of it, those of them that are interested will head on to your e-commerce store and purchase and you make good amount of money okay the next step which is step number seven is check out shopping cart and wish list please and please i see so many e-commerce platform or e-commerce stores rather individual e-commerce stores that before you check out you have to sign up put your email put your phone number put your address put all those that's stressful it's not going to benefit you in any way. Rather, you are going to have lots and lots of abandoned cards. So please don't do that. Once a custom, make your checkout process very easy. They don't have to fill anything. All they need is just their name, their phone number, or their name and email. Very easy. Then after they have, after they might have placed order, you can now push them to a page where they could put their address if you are going to run the delivery for them. They put in the address. Very easy. Don't, if they don't have to sign up, you know, do two-factor authentication, do... No, 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 no. Once they've gotten to their checkout page, make it easy. You could use PayPal, you could use um, so many other payment processors. PayU is there. There are so many, there are so many online processors, depending on your country. You could actually use any of these so that it will make their checkout process very very easy okay so those are the seven very important things you need to know to actually start a successful e-commerce business make mistake in any of these seven steps you may not succeed in e-commerce business but take these steps follow it sequentially you are going to come out very very successful remember it's going to take some time it's not going to happen overnight, but if you follow these processes, then congratulations because your e-commerce business had actually kicked off by the time you get to step number seven or even step number six. Your e-commerce store, your e-commerce business had actually kicked off and you're already making sales and that's all it takes. If you can make one sale successfully, then you can make 2,000 sales successfully. It's just a matter of time and traffic. So if you are gaining enough value in this video, then go ahead to smash that you know, bell notification icon, subscribe and like this video so that it could be made available to so many other persons like you on this platform so that they can learn also and enjoy what you just enjoyed, okay? So thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video.